doctor of the church. Our mass presider today is Reverend Father Louis Ponsalan SVD, concelebrated by Reverend Father Sherwin Aramin Tristan SVD. Our celebration will now begin. Please rise. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Today is the last day of the month of September. Tomorrow we will begin a new month. The month of October, the month of the Holy Rosary. As we celebrate today the last day of the month of September, we also celebrate a holy man. Saint Jerome, a biblical scholar, priest and doctor of the church. Jerome died in the year 420 in Bethlehem. He was from Dalmatia. He was a devoted monk and ascetic. He wrote many commentaries about the Bible and Saint Jerome also authored the Latin Vulgate translation of the Bible. Jerome is the patron of Bible scholars and he is one of the four great doctors of the Latin Church. I confess so to Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly seen in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. O God who gave the priest, Saint Jerome, a living and tender love for sacred scripture, grant that your people may be ever more fruitfully nourished by your word and find in it the font of life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Nehemiah. The whole people gathered as one in the open space before the water gate, and they called upon Ezra the scribe, to bring forth the book of the law of Moses, which the Lord prescribed for Israel. On the first day of the seventh month, therefore, Ezra the, Ezra the priest brought the law before the assembly, which consisted of men, women, and those children old enough to understand. Standing at one end of the open place that was before the water gate, he read out a book from daybreak until midday in the presence of the men, the women, and those children old enough to understand. 
and all the people listened attentively to the book of the law. Ezra the scribe stood on the wooden platform that has been made for the occasion. He opened the scroll so that all the people might see it, for he was standing higher up than any of those people, and as he opened it, all the people rose. Ezra blessed the Lord, the great God, and all the people, their hands raised high, answered, Amen, Amen. And then they bowed down and prostrated themselves before the Lord, their faces on the ground. As the people remained in their places, Ezra read plainly from the book of the law of God, interpreting it so that all could understand what was read. Then Nehemiah, that is his excellency, and Ezra, the priest scribe, and the Levites who were instructing the people, said to all the people, Today is holy to the Lord your God. Do not be sad and do not weep, for all the people were weeping as they heard the words of the law. He said further, Go, eat rich foods and drink sweet drinks, and allot portions to those who had nothing prepared, for today is holy to our Lord. Do not be saddened this day, for rejoicing in the Lord must be your strength. And the Levites quieted all the people, saying, Hush, for today is holy, and you must not be saddened. Then all the people went to eat and drink, to distribute portions, and to celebrate with great joy. For, it, for they understood the words that had been expounded to them. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The precepts of the Lord give joy to the heart. The precepts of the Lord give joy to the heart. The law of the Lord is perfect, refreshing the soul. The decree of the Lord is trustworthy, giving wisdom to the simple. The precepts of the Lord give joy to the heart. The precepts of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The command of the Lord is clear, enlightening the eye. The precepts of the Lord give joy to the heart. The fear of the Lord is pure, enduring forever. The ordinances of the Lord are true, all of them just. The precepts of the Lord give joy to the heart. They are more precious than gold, than the heap of purest gold, sweeter also than syrup or honey from the comb. The precepts of the Lord give joy to the heart. Please rise to honor the Holy Gospel. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and His righteousness. And all these things shall be added unto you. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading is taken from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus appointed 72 other disciples whom he sent ahead of him in pairs to every town and place he intended to visit. And he said to them, The harvest is abundant, the workers are few. Ask the master of the harvest to send out laborers for his harvest. Go on your way. Behold, I am sending you like lambs in the midst of wolves. Carry no money bag and no sack, no sandals. Greet no one along the way. Into whatever house you enter, you first say, Peace to this household. If a peaceful person lives there, 
your peace will rest on him. But if not, it will return to you. Stay in the same house and drink and eat what is offered to you because the worker deserves his payment. Do not move about from one house to another house. Whatever town you enter and they welcome you, eat what is set before you, cure the sick in it and say to them, The kingdom of God is at hand for you. Whatever town you enter and they do not receive you, go out into the streets and you say, The dust of your town that clings to our feet, even that we shake off against you. Yet know this, the kingdom of God is at hand. I tell you, it will be more tolerable for Sodom on that day than for the town. My dear brothers and sisters, this is the gospel, the good news of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. It's the last day of the month of September. Last Tuesday, we reminded ourselves about the beautiful feasts and memorials that we celebrate this week. We started last Monday. We celebrated the memory of Vincent de Paul, the saint of charity, the patron saint of all charitable institutions, the founder of the Vincentians and the Daughters of Charity. On Tuesday, September 28, we celebrated the memory of the first Filipino saint and his companion martyrs, San Lorenzo Ruiz. Yesterday, September 29, we celebrated the feast of the Archangels, Michael, Gabriel, and Raphael. Today, September 30, the last day of the month, we celebrate the memory of a biblical scholar, a biblical theologian known all over the world, St. Jerome. And tomorrow, October 1st, we will celebrate the memory of St. Therese of the Little Flower, St. Therese of Lisieux, or St. Therese of the little way and then we will celebrate the memory of the guardian angels on the third if i'm not or on the second and then we celebrate saint francis of assisi and then we celebrate our lady of the rosary we have one beautiful feast and memorial after the other let me say a few words about the saint whose memory we honor today jerome priest and doctor of the church. If there is one lesson that we would like to learn and one thought that we would like to bring with us at the end of the Mass, I'd like to share what St. Jerome said in one of his homilies. Jerome said, Ignorance of the Bible is ignorance of Christ. Think about it. Ignorance of the Bible is ignorance of Christ. Ignorance of the Scripture is ignorance of Christ. If you do not know your Bible, you do not know Christ. If you want to know Christ more personally, read your Bible, love your Bible, search the Bible, leave the Bible. Search the Scripture. Seek and you shall find. My dear brothers and sisters, most outstanding saints are remembered for some outstanding virtue or devotion that they practice. But St. Jerome is remembered because he is a Bible scholar, he is a Bible theologian, he was the one who translated the Old Testament from the original Hebrew and the New Testament from the original Greek and he also wrote many commentaries about the Bible that are a great source 
of spiritual inspiration for biblical scholars and the faithful. He was an avid student. He was an exemplary scholar. He was a prodigious writer. He was a consultant for the monks, for bishops, and for popes. And St. Augustine say, said of St. Jerome, What Jerome is ignorant of, no mortal has ever known. Jerome is particularly important for having made a translation of the Bible that came to be known as the Vulgate. The Council of Trent called for a new and corrected edition of the Vulgate and declared the translation of St. Jerome to be the authentic text to be used by the church. And in order to be able to, sa to do such a scholarly work, Jerome prepared himself well. He was multilingual. He could speak several languages. He was a master in Latin. He could speak Greek and Hebrew and Chaldaic. He began his studies at his birthplace in Stridon in Dalmatia. And after his preliminary education, he went to Rome. That was the center of learning at the time. And then he went to Germany to study where the scholar was very much in evidence. My dear brothers and sisters, we can say many other things about Jerome. We cannot say everything in one short homily or reflection. I'd like only to add a few words about the Bible because the saint whose memory we honor today is a Bible scholar. I remember what St. Paul said in his second letter to Timothy chapter 3 and I quote, All scripture is inspired by God. In other words, the scripture, the Bible, is divinely inspired. It is inspired by the Lord. And St. Paul, in his letter to Timothy, also gives us one of the most and one of the loveliest summaries about the Bible. What is the role of the Bible in our life? St. Paul says the following, There are four different roles of the Bible in our life. Number one, Scripture is used for teaching. Number two, Scripture is used for refuting error. Number three, Scripture guides people's lives. And number four, Scripture teaches us to be holy. So these are the four uses, the four uses of the Bible in our life according to St. Paul. My dear friends, the Bible is the book of the church. The Bible is the book of the Christian community. The Bible is the book of the people of God. The Bible is given to us not only to be informative. The Bible is not only informative. It not, does not only tell us about the love story between God and man and about Jesus Christ and the history of salvation. It is not only informative. The Bible does not only change minds, it also changes hearts. That is why the Bible is also formative and transformative. My dear brothers and sisters, many people have been asking me, Father, what is a good version of the Bible? Let me mention to you the top, the version or the edition of the Bible that I will propose, that I will suggest. And you check your Bible in your little library at home. If you have this Bible, then it is a Catholic Bible. What are the three good editions of the Bible? Check your Bible. The New American Bible. That is a Catholic Bible. New American Bible. Another is the Jerusalem Bible. That is also a good Catholic edition of the Bible. And the third one is 
What is the third one for the servant? Jer. Sapa, tatlo yan eh. My goodness, senior moment again. Senior moment. New American Bible, Jerusalem Bible, mamaya na lamang yung isa. Nakalimutan po ng senior moment. No? But there are three versions of the Bible. And so, finally, my dear friends, if you have no Bible, get a good copy of the Bible. The Lord said, Blessed is the person who hears the word of God and ponders it in his, in his heart. And if today you hear His voice, Harden not your heart. Amen. Prayers of the faithful. We now turn in prayer to the Lord of the harvest and we pray for the needs of the church and of the world. Let our response be, Bless our labors, O Lord. Bless our labors, O Lord, that all the faithful may be aware that they are called by God to spread His kingdom of peace in the world. We pray. Bless our labors, O Lord, that we may be more conscious of our vocation to spread the good news of salvation to the people in our neighborhood. We pray. Bless our labors, O Lord, that farmers who till the soil and work the land may be blessed with good weather and abundant harvest. We pray. Bless our labors, O Lord. That the sick and those who find life difficult may know that God cares for them through the concern of their families. We pray. Bless our labors, O Lord. For civil and political leaders, that the Holy Spirit may guide them to make sound and swift policy decisions to fight this public health crisis and come to the aid of those lacking in basic necessities of life and devise social and economic solutions for the welfare of the citizenry. We also pray and thank for the ordinary people who find ways to help the least and the less among the society may the true Bayanihan spirit prevail among all of us. We pray. Bless our labors, O Lord. That the faithful departed who labored in this life may obtain their heavenly reward. We pray. Bless our labors, O Lord. Now I remember the third version. The first is the New American Bible. The second is the Jerusalem Bible. And the third is the Revised Standard Version or RSV. These are the three good editions of the Bible. And see to it that your Bible has a nihil obstat from a Catholic bishop or rather from a Catholic priest and an imprimatur from a Catholic bishop. Let us also remember the intentions of our donors and benefactors in our Mass this morning. Heavenly Father, help us to take part with joy in the work of spreading the gospel by the example we show in our lives. We ask you this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Oh! 
Let us pray that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, our loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Grant us, O Lord, that having med meditated on your word, following the example of St. Jerome, we may more eagerly draw near to offer your majesty the sacrifice of salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Let Lord. Let us now give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For us on the festival of St. Jerome, you bid your church rejoice, so to you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we act. Therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave you thanks. He broke the bread. He gave it to the disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Again, he gave you thanks and praise. Gave the chalice to the disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in my memory. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, O Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Onesto, our Bishop, and all the clergy and the religious. Remember your servants, Alcazar OSB, Sister Kathleen Zamayla, SPC, Agustin Salgado, Jr., and Conchita Onhoko whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that they who were united with your Son in a death like His may also be one with Him in His resurrection. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. All who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, all the Apostles, Saint Jerome, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, with Him, in Him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray the way Jesus prayed. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, and grant us peace in our country and in our families. In your mercy, keep us free from sin. Protect us from all anxiety and fear as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus the Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. You said to the apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your people, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom where you live forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. Greet each other with a sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. St. Paul said, all scripture is inspired by God. My dear brothers and sisters, this is Jesus, the divine word made flesh and splendor of the Father, the Lamb of God who takes away our sins and the sin of the world. Happy are those invited to his meal. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But, but only, only say, say the, the word, word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. God, the 
Let us pray. May these holy gifts we have received, O Lord, as we rejoice in celebrating St. Jerome, stir up the hearts of your faithful, so that attentive to sacred teachings, they may, be, they may understand the path they are to follow, and by following, obtain life everlasting through Christ our Lord. Amen. Horatio Imperata. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19. Let us disturb and even claim lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand. Dispel the fear of sickness and death. Restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country and the whole world. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to the protection of Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, help the sick. Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel. Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Saint Jerome, pray for us. Saints Arnold Johnson and Joseph Reynadimitz, pray for us. A blessed day to all of you, my dear brothers and sisters, especially those who are joining us through our live streaming. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat, and to those who are joining us also in different parts of the world, maybe it's already evening, magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat. Let me first introduce myself. I am Father Sherwin Tristan Aromin, SBD. I am the Head Prefect or the Formator of our seminarians here in Christ the King Mission Seminary. I'm joining Father Louis this morning to personally thank you all, my dear brothers and sisters, especially our generous benefactors and donors who are always helping our seminarians in whatever capacity they can offer or lend their hand to give us so that we can continue our seminary formation especially in this time of pandemic if you remember the i think last july or early august father louis mentioned before the start of our formation year that we are expecting around 60 seminarians mukhang malakas magdasal si father louis at nagkatotonga at present here in christ the king alone we have 59 seminarians from senior high school to college and our young professionals or what we call associates. But all over the Philippines in our different formation houses and stages of formation, I'm counting around 156 seminarians only here in the Philippines, not uh, included those who are having formation in different SVD seminaries worldwide. 156 seminarians. We are grateful as SVDs that despite the pandemic, despite the struggles of gathering our seminarians because of our situation today, still many young men are generous enough, courageous enough to answer the call of the Lord to follow our footsteps as divine word missionaries, to heed the call of Jesus to be his disciples. So muli, 
to all our generous benefactors, those who are always helping us in our seminary formation. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat. Agyaman kami unay, daghang salamat. Thank you very much for your continued support. And please continue to pray for our seminarians for their perseverance because sabi nga ng gospel, we need more laborers for the harvest of the Lord. May God bless you always for your generosity. Thank you. We have a short video from our seminarians expressing also their gratitude to all the benefactors and to those who donated material things that we need in our seminary. So nakita na ninyo ang ating mga seminarista dito sa Christ the King. Si Father Sherwin po ang head prefect. Ang ibig sabihin ng prefect, siya yung main formator. Siya yung superior ng mga seminarista dito sa Christ the King. At ipinakita natin yung mga natanggap naming tulong sa marami sa inyo itong mga nakaraang araw. From the bottom of our hearts again, maraming, maraming salamat po. And uh, I would also like to take this opportunity again to thank our numerous donors and benefactors and sponsors and friends from all over sa inyong patuloy na pagtulong sa aming mga seminarista sa Christ the King, not only with your prayers but with your financial support. I cannot mention your names individually. I cannot mention your names one by one. Probably I can just mention that there is somebody from Sweden who connected with me yesterday. I will not mention your name from Sweden. Maraming, maraming salamat. Somebody from the States, somebody from Hong Kong, somebody again from the States and uh, from Canada and from different places. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat. Of course, our day, my day will not be complete if I will not again continue to appeal for help from our uh, uh, from the people of God. That is why at this point, gusto kong lumapit pa doon sa mga pwede pang lapitan. Uh, baka po gusto ninyong tumulong sa pag-aaral, pagpapaaral ng ating mga seminarista. If you wish to help any of our seminarians, you can connect with me by email. We are flashing in front of you the email address that you can use in writing your, your letter, your email to me. The email address is uh, ckmsdonorcare at gmail.com. We are also maintaining the one and only bank account for seminarians. It is with Banco de Oro. Take note of the account name and the account number. Divine Word Mission Seminary Inc. Account number 000-220-191247. I'd like to mention one, just one name from Malaysia, Mr. Gerard Ho. Gerard, thank you very much. We are also keeping two GCash numbers, 0967 3189830 and 0945 You can send your donations to any of these uh, uh, GCash numbers or to our BDO account. Today is the last day of September. Tomorrow, our GCash wallet will be open again. Pwede na namang kaming tumanggap. Again, galing sa aming puso, kami po ay patuloy na magpapasalamat 
sa inyong walang sawang pagtulong at pagdamay sa amin dito sa Christ the King Seminary. God bless you. May the good Lord continue to grant you more blessings in the days to come. Let us all stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. We all go in peace. Thanks be to God. May the holy trying God live and reign in our hearts and the hearts of all people. Saint Arnold Johnson and Joseph Freenademips. Pray for us. Saint Jerome. Pray for us. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.